I don't have a quiet minute today. I have to convert this dust bowl look to a desert look, work out this awful crick in my neck, and then back on the road for that goddamn Lizzie Borden routine. You're not having a gay old time greeting fans coast to coast? <laughs> Does a Ringling Brothers elephant have a gay old time? <laughs> Hedda? Hedda, what is it? Did you skip lunch? To, do you want no. me to get Mama C to, to no, boil no, no. you an egg? No, no, just, just sit with me. Hedda, are you all right? Oh. <laughs> Last week, I was on the phone with Francis Marion deploring the demise of the tender love story, when my arm went dead, limp like a stewed noodle. Oh, it was a heart attack. I have a defect, apparently, and the doctor says it won't be long before another one hits. Come on, get up, let me, we'll sit somewhere more comfortable. Thank you, darling. Why, why, why didn't you call me? Oh, no, I use the time to reflect. <laughs> if I am finished and the sum of my life's work is tallied, am I satisfied with reams of gossip? Oh, how can you say that? I mean, <laughs> look at all the careers that you have launched, mine included. I didn't muse on the careers I'd nurtured. I thought about the ones I'd destroyed. The reds, the queers, the whores, the cheaters and dope heads, the ones who cursed me, sued me, offed themselves. And I felt good that I'd contributed to our moral economy. And so you have. You have been nothing short of a bulwark against the tide of smut crashing over this culture. But I can't stop it lapping at your door. What are you talking about? Somebody's been shopping a stag picture in which you allegedly appeared in your youth. <laughs> well, that is ridiculous. It must be someone who resembles me. I know Luella's been sniffing around, so is Confidential. <sighs> Bastards. Can I sue? Not if there's a film. Is there, Joan? Why would you ask that? Because if there is, I'll find out. I always find out. And you would write about it. It's what I do. <sighs> I'm offering you the opportunity to add your voice to the story. By telling the tale of shame yourself, you can turn it into a story of redemption. Not a bad way for either of us to go out. The perfect final scoop for my readers. I am sorry about your ill health, Hedda. <laughs> and I am sorry that it has so weakened your ability to distinguish truth from lies. All right, Joan. But just remember, it's always better to cooperate. <laughs> 